Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Glory Hunter with Bayer Leverkusen. Today we take on Borussia Dortmund in another huge game in the Bundesliga. And now we have a lot of admin to do today. We've got to talk about the Europa League. We've got to talk about some new signings. We've got to talk about a couple of departures as well. So let's dive straight into it. So the draw for the league phase has been made in the Europa League and it's a fairly comfortable one for us. We'll take on Malmo, we'll take on Mould. Juventus is the outlier in the list. Genk, Club Bruges, PSV Eindhoven, Ludogorets and Astana. Now, we were very busy towards the end of the transfer window. We had to be. Didn't have enough Germans in the team to qualify everybody for the Europa League. It was a mess. So we have sorted it out. But we lost Arthur on loan. Gustavo Pareto has joined San Palau. And Kovar has joined Heidenhelm on loan. You can see the five that we bought in. Let's have a look at them a little bit closer. And we start by bringing in Flavius Dalanusic from Salamantana on loan with an option to buy him at the end a good player not gonna set the world on fire reason we bought him in he had a spell at Bayern Munich at the start of his career so he's a home grown player he'll do all right he'll cover a few bases that's all we really need him to do we are back on the Jeremy Doku bandwagon as well he has joined us on loan from Manchester City no option to buy him at the end of it I thought I'd give him a second go obviously we had him at Villarreal last season very injury hit spell but he did score three goals in nine appearances for us so yeah hoping he can do the same and keep injury free at Bayer Leverkusen another player coming in the door is Weston McKenney has joined us from Juventus for 12.25 million pounds again another player that ticks a box in terms of training in Germany. He was with Schalke earlier in his career. Good player though. Three star, prime of his career. Good pace, good engine for the midfield area. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what Weston can do. We needed a more experienced backup. And I say more experienced, about a year older than Florian Verst. And that is Urken Karu. He has joined us from Benfica on loan with an option to buy him at the end of it. Looks a good player on paper. Can play in centre midfield, can play in attacking midfield. Looking forward to seeing what he can do. And last but not least, we have brought back to the football club Marcel Lotka. Goalkeeper, two star. Bit of an improvement on Kovar. So we'll see how he gets on. Obviously, he is a homegrown talent for Bayer Leverkusen. Again, ticks another box. Now to those results we've had since we've last been together. So following that win over Heidenhelm, we beat Mites by two goals to one. Palacios and Tapsoba with a great penalty in the 93rd minute from a centre-half. We swept aside Borussia Mönchengladbad. It was all over before the sending off, it has to be said. Two goals for Suic, Sheik, Frimpong and Verts with the goals. Then we squeaked past Augsburg as Rodriguez scored the only goal of the game. And we started our Europa League campaign off with a 2-0 win away at Malmo. A much changed side, it has to be said, given the opposition. Verts and Schick with the goals. So it's an unbeaten season all round so far. Seventh in the Europa League after match one. Obviously, we play Gutta Firth in the second round of the German Cup. That is coming up shortly. And we are three points behind Bayern Munich at the top. We are the only two unbeaten sides left in the Bundesliga but our unbeaten record is going to face a severe test against Borussia Dortmund they are currently fifth three wins and one defeat so far this season they have the chance to go level on points with us let's take a look at the teams so here are the two starting lineups as we start with Perry and Gaal, Frimpong, Tatsoba, Hikapi, Grimaldo, Palacios, McKenney, Adele, Suic, Doku with Schick leading the line. As Dortmund start with no man in goal. Suel, Osu, Schottlebeck, Reinston, Chan, Nemecha, Samansky, Raya, Bratst with Adiemi leading the line. 
So yeah, by far our toughest test so far of the Bundesliga season. Can we pick up a win over Dortmund? They struggled last year. That is very well documented. They are going to be much better this time, I feel. They've got their house in order. Can we pick up a win over them? Come on. We'll see what happens. A few familiar faces in the Dortmund side. There is the league table. So we have the chance, potentially, with a good result. And I say a good result. You know, a four-goal win is a good result for us here, I guess. <laughs> to go top of the Bundesliga. Let's just settle for second now. Let's keep the unbeaten run. That's basically what I want. Obviously, we will play Bayern Munich next time around. Just a little spoiler for what's to come. Massive game that will be. At home as well, so that'll be good. Samencic with the ball. Some of these names will be butchered, as you're all acutely aware by now. Throw in. Racing with it. On to Samencic. And we'll go back into Schollebecker. On to Chan. Nice easy one to say. Emre Chan looking wide for Giovanni Reina. Nemecha. Get to him. Don't let him cross the ball into the area. He goes towards the back post looking for Bradston. He's heading over the bar. Free kick. Semencic with it. Ball over the top of the wall and over the top of the bar as well. Corner to us. First time we've seen us in an attacking sense today. Grimaldo with the corner. He goes short. Will he swing it in? Adele looking for Schick in the middle. Good save from the keeper. Free kick. Semencic with the ball again. Chipping it into the penalty area. Taps over, wins the header. Frimpong gets us on the counter. Springing forward. Dortmund struggling to get back. Adele. Oh, has he pulled it too far in front of him? No, he's still got control of it. Thankfully. Plays it to Palacios on the edge. Blocked by the defender. And soon will head it away. Chance to go the other way. End to end. Giovanni Reina with the ball. Grimaldo comes across. Lovely challenge. Grimaldo with the throw. Throws it on to Suic. Been really impressed with him so far. Looking for Doku. Inside the penalty area. Can he find a teammate? He might get a shot away as well. He does, but it's saved by the goalkeeper. Unlucky. So we close in on half time. Another corner. Going straight in this time, is it? Grimaldo. He's got a man short. He uses the short corner. Adele swings it into the centre. Weston McKenney tries to rise, but the keeper gets there first. Frimpong with the throw. Adele. Back into Frimpong again. Swings it in early. Headed away. There are lots of Dortmund players back inside the penalty area, it has to be said. Seven of them, I think there was there. Adele. Plays it onto Frimpong. Trying to work our way through. Adele picks the ball up again. Looks for Patrick Schick, but he's headed it over the bar. Schottlerbeck. Goes into Ryson. Through, looking for Adeyemi. And Cappy shuts the door on him. Weston McKenney plays it early to Schick. Wide to Doku. Got Grimaldo with him. Has to go back though. Attack comes to an end. But Jeremy Doku picks it up with plenty of space. And plenty of pace within his legs. Grimaldo plays it inside to Weston McKenney though. We're going to find our way through this way, are we? Weston McKenney, lovely ball through. Suic, can he find Schick in the centre? He can find Doku instead. He finds Weston McKenney. He gets the shot away. And it's over the top of the bar. Unlucky. And that is half time. Nil-nil. It's been lively so far, though. We've had the better of the chances. Just haven't put one away so far. Yeah. Don't lose faith. We're creating chances. One will come. All you need is one, right? Grimaldo into Suic. Round the corner for Doku. Rayner picks it up, though. Tries to come the other way. Grimaldo in front of him. Alex has been around the block too many times to be caught out by that. Weston McKenney. Got an engine on him in the centre of the park. That's one thing I have noticed so far. Jeremy Doku with the ball. Can he find a ball into the centre? He can, but it's cut out. Nemecha. On to Reina. Keep him in there. Sewell. Plays it across. Sue into Samancic. Oh, I thought he was going to pinch it there. Branst. We will pinch it there, though. Suic. Onto Adele. Plays it back into Frimpong. Go low. Ball in. Oh, Adele. Adele has scored again. Lovely stuff. Just after half time, we finally make it count. We catch the ball high. We keep them in. The high press is beautiful. And Adele. 
eventually finds the back of the net. I thought we'd screwed it up here, to be honest. They did manage to get it away. Only two, Adele on the six yard line. Just another three and we'll be in front of Bayern Munich. This is fine, I'll settle for one. Patrick Six on a 6.3, we might take him off shortly. Right, they're making a couple of changes. We will do the same. So yeah, Patrick Schick is going to come off. Had a bit of a poor afternoon. Fafana's going to come on for him. We're going to take off Suic. We're going to bring on Verts for him. And we're going to take off Jeremy Doku. And we're going to bring Bakwar on to that left-hand side. Bit of a team talk. Got plenty of time to make a difference on this game. Absolutely. 20 minutes to play. Throw in. Frimpong with it. Adele into Palacios. Ball towards the back stick. Looking for Verts. He gets the header on goal. He's over the top of the bar. Corner. Goes short with it again. Bakwar was with him this time. Goes to Adele on the edge of the box. Plays it into a cappy. Good save from the goalkeeper. Well worked corner. We will have another one. Nine minutes plus added time to come. Has not spotted the short corner again. It's 2v1 out there. Well, it's technically 3v2. But Grimaldo is going to take his time. He plays it short into Bakwa. Goes low. Ooh, almost caught them out. Almost. Keep it. Luke, there we go. Adele with a good challenge. And we keep it with Verts. Go on, son. Comes inside the penalty area. Can he find Fafana? Can anybody? No. Adeyemi's back inside his own half. Very deep inside his own half. But they have a free kick to Dortmund. Managed to get themselves up the field. They are very narrow in the centre, though. Look at them. They're all standing together. It's not Paul McCartney. Malin plays it in Brandst. Oh, come on. That's a bit of poor defending from us. They were all standing together. And then we forgot about Milan. And by and Borussia Dortmund have the equalising goal in front of the travelling support. Yeah, just go to sleep. Alex Grimaldo it is at the back post. To be fair, in the centre, we're not doing much better there. Lots of players on the edge of the box. Not so many inside the penalty area. Right, got a few minutes. Let's make another couple of changes, shall we? Palacios has had a poor game. Okay. So, Kosu will come on. I'm going to get his name wrong a few times. I can tell you that already. And we're going to bring Adele off for Jack Clark. I'll swap those two over for the final few minutes. There's a ball into the box. Looking for Adele. And it's picked up by Frimpong. Can he get away from Torres? Finds Weston McKenney with a bit of support. Taps over. Plays it through to Verts. Good ball to Adele again. Can he find a ball into Fafana? He can. Bakwa could save. Five minutes of added time to come. Are we going to find a winner? Doesn't look like it, although we do have a corner. Ball into Jack Clark. Kokwa. Have a shot, son. Might as well. He does. Oh, it just, just didn't turn enough. Good challenge on halfway. Looking for Adi Amy. Grimaldo, we are over time. I think we are going to run out of time today unless we are allowed to continue. Clark chips it wide looking for Frimpong. Plays it on to Bakwa. Oh, it's out of play. That is full time. Bayer Leverkusen 1, Borussia Dortmund 1. Should we have won the game? Bloody hell, we should have won the game. Look at that. Absolute domination. But if you don't take your chances... He ain't gonna win. To be fair, I thought their goalkeeper was outstanding through that. Made plenty of saves to keep his side in it. So after the results from this weekend, we are still second. Two points behind Bayern Munich. Dortmund jump back into the Champions League places with 10 points. So what we will do, we will take on Eintracht Frankfurt. We'll take on Mould in the Europa League and we will come back for that huge game at the start of October against Bayern Munich. Obviously Harry Kane and all. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.